I'm here at the Dife Auction, Blackpool, England, Savoy Hotel. We should see some record prices later tonight. Everybody's viewing the birds right now. <coughs> Crowd is just starting to pour in. I'll film some of the higher priced birds in the auction. Some of the biggest names in the sport. Dive auction. Blackpool, England. Willem de Bruyne's pigeon out of Murphy's Law is expecting to sell around 80,000 pounds. We will see. I'll record it. If you haven't been to Blackpool, put it on your bucket list. Come one time, you'll love it. Direct from William de Bruyne's Murphy's Law, lot number 48, lot number 49. Right. Just get a little bit of time to we all swear everything out. Lot number 48. No, you won't do. Right. Right, right, right. In the world today, ladies and gentlemen, the most commercial, the most talented, the most rewarding pigeons on the market are William de Bruyne. <laughs> Guys, please, there's a little bit of hush, but we take facts here, have a bit of respect. Mark Bullock, you're not going to make books at the best of times. Can you please keep them quiet over there, please? Right. William de Bruyne is not just a factor to sell pigeons for a lot of money. He's a fantastic racer. He's a man to have a lot of trust and respect in. His references are absolute. Mark, Mark, please. I oh, oh, just come next door, please. I know, but all I can do is hear you. Uh, I know, but I know you, but I don't know anyone else. Right. Lot, lot 48, right? William de Bruyne, he's a man to buy into, his references are second to none. The pigeons have come to the UK and they've been phenomenal. They went to Belgium a few years ago when the Belgians said that Dutch pigeons could never win races in Belgium. Lucien ripped up and re uh, rewrote history. Norba Ali winning national races. People like Jan van der Pasch. If you've never read about Jan van der Pasch and his daughter, their performances are absolutely sensational. Willem de Bruyne is more than just one man and one result. The pigeon we're selling now, ladies and gentlemen, is law number 48. It's a direct child of Murphy's Law. When Murphy's Law was paired to Phoebe, ladies and gentlemen. I know they come with a lot of expectation, but if you want to invest, and if you want to take either him or his brother home, Ladies and gentlemen, if they stay in the UK, I'll do everything I can to help you repay your money back. They are two superb brothers, the next two lots. Murphy's Law is in itself a winner up to 26,000 birds. He's siring grandson of multiple national age pigeons. I get a bit excited to fall over. It's your auction. Ladies and gentlemen, it's your chance to take a bit of history home. As you know, Peter Fox bought a pigeon the same way he bred in this auction room two years ago and I'm sure Peter Fox will tell you the best investment that he's made in a long, long time. One of the very first grandchildren that was raised by it, I saw Kerry Mellonby around earlier, the second national ace pigeon this year, only beaten by one of his own pigeons. Super lives. So, lot number 48. No jokers, please. I have a 2,000 star. 5,000 star. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 12, 
13, 14, 15, 16, 17. That's you finished. 17,000 and the bin is on my left. It's 17,000. 18,000. 19,000. Bin is on my left. 18,000. 19,000. 20,000. 21,000. 22. 21,000 and the bid is going to break it. 21,000 euros. Pounds! I was only joking. At 21,000 pounds, the bid is on my way at 21. Half? 21 and a half. Let's go for 21 and a half. The only problem is I don't know if you can say half in that language. 21 and a half thousand, ladies and gentlemen. Both put your hands up. So you're 22, Celine, you're okay, 23? At 23,000. At 23,000 pounds, ladies and gentlemen, at 23,000. Anyone in the room at 20, 24,000? 25,000? At 25,000 pounds, then at 25,000, ladies and gentlemen. At 25,000, the bid is received 26,000. At 27,000. At 27,000 pounds, ladies and gentlemen, at 27, will we break the record? 28,000, 29,000, 30,000, thank you, Celine, at 13,000 pounds. At 30. Stay with us, guys, because whoever buys this, it means that one buyer is missing for the second one. At 31, 31,000. At 31,000, the bid's on the right at 31,000. At 31,000. 32,000. 32, at 32,000 pounds, ladies and gentlemen. At 32,000. 33,000, 34,000. 35, 35,000. At 35,000 pounds, ladies and gentlemen. 36,000, 37,000. At 37,000 pounds, direct from Murphy's Law, 37,000. 38,000, 40,000. At 14,000 pounds, ladies and gentlemen. He does like this, five, five At 40,000 pounds. 41, 42, 42, yes. At 42,000, and the bids on the left is 42,000. 43,000, 44,000. At forty-four thousand pounds, ladies and gentlemen. This is what pigeon racing means at the highest level. Forty-five thousand. Forty-six. Happy forty-six, me? Yes, forty-six thousand. At forty-six thousand pounds for the child of Murphy's Law. At forty-six, forty-seven thousand. At forty-eight thousand. At forty-eight thousand pounds, ladies and gentlemen. At £48,000. This is why it's important to invest in the grandchildren. At £49,000. At £50,000. At £50,000. No, we're still going at £50,000. At £50,000, ladies and gentlemen. At £50,000. £51,000. Yes, at £51,000. Look at how there is going to be an Elton John concert. At £52,000, Celine. At £52,000, we have. At fifty-two thousand pounds. At fifty-two thousand. At fifty-three thousand. At fifty-three thousand for the sub. Fifty-four thousand. Five thousand. At fifty-five thousand. Come on, let's break that record again. At fifty-five thousand pounds, ladies and gentlemen. At fifty-five thousand, and the bid is with sitting sub fifty-five thousand. At 55,000, ladies and gentlemen. At 55,000 pounds. At 55,000. We'll take our time and we won't end the auction until both parties are happy. At 55,000. It's a deep size. 56,000. At 56,000 pounds, ladies and gentlemen. At 56,000. Fifty-six 
57, 57,000. Not 57,000 pounds, ladies and gentlemen. Not 57,000 pounds. Not 57, 58,000. Not 58,000. 58,000. At 58,000. Am I? Am I? 61? 61. 60. Sorry. 60. 60. 60. Thank you. That's 60,000 pounds, ladies and gentlemen. Could be a little bit of history. 61. 61,000 pounds, ladies and gentlemen. I think the record last year was 65,000. 61,000. Highest price pigeon ever sold in the United Kingdom. That's 65,000. Sorry, no, 61,000. I'm getting carried away. That's 61,000, ladies and gentlemen. Stick with us. You're watching a bit of history. That's 61,000 pounds, ladies and gentlemen. That's 61,000. The bid is with Rick. That's 61,000 pounds. That's 61. 62,000. 62, Ladies and gentlemen, £62,000. Direct Charlie Murphy's Law. That's 62,000. 63,000. £63, £63,000 for a direct Charlie Murphy's Law and Phoebe. Did you bid that, Pip? £63,000. Hey, that's why you all quite are, isn't it? Hey, that's where you get a crowd going. £63,000. That's £63,000. That's £63,000. £64,000, yes? £64,000. Ladies and gentlemen, 64,000. 65,000? Yes, Rick? 65,000 pounds. Equal. The highest pigeon ever sold in the UK, ladies and gentlemen, is 65,000. That's 65,000 pounds. Direct from Willem de Bruyne, the flying dentist. That's 65,000. He's a super copper, ladies and gentlemen, so it's his best mate, £65,000. £65,000. You still want me to stick your on your paper? Sixty-six. Yes, sixty-six, ladies and gentlemen. Highest price ever paid in the UK at £66,000. £67,000. That's £67,000, ladies and gentlemen. Now we have a real battle. That's sixty-seven thousand pounds. Who is going to be the lucky buyer? That's sixty-seven thousand pounds, and the bid is with Rick. That's sixty-seven. No, finish. Okay. That's sixty-seven thousand pounds, and the bid is with Rick. Ladies and gentlemen, if you're all finished, it's sixty-seven thousand. Going once, Celine, you're happy to finish. Sixty-seven thousand. Going twice. So for 67,000. Okay, back to reality, ladies and gentlemen. Now we've got to sell the next bit. Remember.